Okay, another question from Reddit. Check this out. We would like to know if 1 half times ln of 1 plus x squared plus c is equal to ln of c times the square root of 1 plus x squared. Is this correct? Well, firstly, we would like to know like where did this come from? I will tell you. I think it's because you are doing an integral and then you end up with this for the answer. And then if you check the answer in the back of the book, then they are telling you that this right here is the answer. So if you are doing an integral, then I will tell you, both of them are okay to be the answer for that integral. And you might be wondering, what's the integral that we are talking about? Well, I know some of the viewers, you would like to think about it, so go ahead and do it. Uh, if not, I will tell you guys that later. Well, if you're not doing integral, if you're just looking at this as an equation, let's say if you have a specific C for you that say, 7 here and then 7 here, then no, this is not a correct equation, right? But let's see, how can we get from here to this form first, if you are really doing an integral? So check this out, I'm going to start from the left-hand side, I'll prove to the right-hand side, all right? Firstly, we have the 1 half in front of the natural log. We can put this back here and then make that into an exponent. So we get ln of parentheses 1 plus x squared, and then raised to the one-half power, which is going to give us the square root. Now, what are we going to do with the c? Hmm. You see, on the right-hand side, we only have one natural log, right? For this c, this is what we are going to do. I would like to introduce a natural log right here as well. To do so, we do this. We add ln of e to the c's power. We want to introduce the ln, so we'll force it. But remember, ln and e cancel, so you can get a c back like this. All right, cool. Now, this and that, right? This right here is really just the same as c. This and that, we have two natural logs adding. We can just multiply the insides together. Therefore, we will have just one ln. This right here is the square root. Let me write it down right here. 1 plus x squared. And then right here, this inside is the e to the c's power, like that. So now you're wondering, like, this is not the same as that. Well, I told you it's not if you are looking at this as an equation. But if you are doing integrals, then we know c is a constant, e is also a constant. Together, this right here is just another constant. So if you want to keep things clear, you could have done this. This right here being c1, c1, and then over there is still c1, right here. But e to the c, that's just called out to be another constant. c10, no, just kidding, c4, no, just kidding, c2. <laughs> All right, so this right here can give us ln of c2, and then times the square root of 1 plus x squared. And as you can see, the structure, this is the c1, right from here. But this right here is the C2. So if you say C1 and C2 like this, this is totally okay. This is totally okay. It's true if you're talking about two different constants, right? Yeah, just like that. Now, I would like to tell you guys what integral are we talking about? Well, if this is the answer of an integral, so what do we do? You just differentiate this and you can get the integral that you want, right? Differentiate the answer, you can check if you get it right or not. So, the integral is this. Note. Integral. The derivative of this is still 1 over that. And then use the chain rule. You have the 2x. 2 and 2 cancel. So you have the x on the top over the input on the bottom. So, this is the integral. So if you say the answer to this integral is ln of 1 plus 1 half ln of 1 plus x squared. And we don't need to use an absolute value because ln because 1 plus L, 1 plus x squared is always positive. So you don't need the absolute value. Yeah, this is okay. Or you can also say uh or also okay to answer it as also okay to put it as that ln of c square root of 1 plus x squared and then there's no more plus c because the c is inside 
but the key is you have to know this is technically C1 and not C2. Yeah, so hopefully this right here helps. Check out my other videos for more in calculus. For, I almost wanted to say for more English tutorial, that doesn't make sense. For more calculus one tutorial, maybe one day I'll do English tutorial too, but I don't think so.